and uh, I'm gonna uh, actually introduce an interview from uh, Music Connected that actually is in sync with uh, this discussion around brands, uh, which is with uh, Ben Perot, a co-founder of uh, Synchio. It's a real pleasure to be here at Music Connected 2014 with uh, Ben Perot, co-founder at Synchio. So hi Ben and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Hey Andrew, how are you doing? Great, and so first of all, uh, tell us a bit about Synchio, what's the company all about? So Synchio is a software platform that helps advertising agencies, filmmakers, games developers, license music more easily. So we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of people who work in those industries, and on the other end we have thousands and thousands of songwriters, composers, uh, producers, sync agents, all sorts of people who are music professionals in some way or another, and um, you put a brief into the cloud and then all, and then all of the different music professionals respond and and you can um, you can pick up a great piece of, of sync or a, or a bespoke license. Awesome, so do you license the content yourself? We're an intermediary, so, okay, so our, our focus is how can we massively scale up the volume of opportunity for the music business and also scale up the quality and opportunity for all of the creative industries too because we know all this work is ongoing but a lot of it is still happening offline, hand to hand, like through you know very heavy intense human capital businesses and and we think that there is a bigger opportunity to, for those to exist and for a software solution so that more of the more of the um, market can flow more easily, I guess. Absolutely. So when, you, when you're talking about uh, artists that come onto the platform and, and register, so how does that process, process work? Uh, does anybody, uh, is anybody uh, able to do that or do side people? Right now it's a hand curated selection of music professionals. And we've done that because in the early stages, the, pr the product's about a year old. Um, just under and we've done that because in the early stages it allows us to be very very careful about who is on the platform and the kind of the quality of work in the long term we'd like to open that up more and we're, we've, we're looking at a bunch of tools that will help us help us do that but at the moment you go on the site Synchio uh, synk.io slash apply and and it's on the it's on the main homepage too and you can just submit an application and then one of the team will listen to it over the course of the next fortnight and you'll be uh, you'll be let into the site and you can you can respond to all the projects you want to you'll receive emails when new projects go up it's pretty it's pretty straightforward and that's the whole thing the whole idea of the product is dramatic simplification of a relatively complex part of the music business so essentially the track that's submitted is some sort of to establish the ground base level of quality and then but the work that is commissioned is actually all original yeah but it's not all original so we use some syncs too right so so there's a there's a mixture of, of stuff happening on the on the platform but the idea is every as a client so as a producer and advertising agency you have an opportunity to receive human chosen responses to your projects uh, every day so you put a product into the into into the uh, onto the platform and then somebody has to think about what they want to respond and then they'll they'll submit that for your for your project so rather than you sort of doing the old library search of just metadata and kind of going down the going down the rabbit hole with like I want it to sound like this genre with this tempo and all this kind of stuff those are very clinical things which require you to understand how the metadata has been been layered over the top of the music there'll be real people who'll be looking at your brief and uh, and as a musician you can respond to a real project and give it a human response which you know music is subjective and so that subjectivity needs to be preserved uh, from the, in the whole process all the way through to the the advert with the music getting played to the to the audience yeah. and so uh, your panel that you were on just now it was called brands and music in the digital age and so uh, of course uh, dealing with sync you deal with a lot of brands that are looking for music how has that uh, you know how did you come into Syncio, sort of what's your background and how have you seen that relationship between brands and music evolve over the last few years? Are brands more open to getting uh, unknown music into their, into their process and, 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 and using that? I've seen it evolve at the audience end more than anything. So my background was I was a music journalist for five years and then I went to um, major broadcasters like Sky and BBC and various other organizations and I've always worked at the most audience orientated end of the business so either in editorial or product roles understanding what's going on from the audience's perspective so what's what I've seen change over the course of the last you know 15 years is um, audience is becoming much much more receptive to the content and content becoming much much more creative you know you're seeing these kind of um, integrations happening in a much more creative way which I think is actually beneficial to the artists but also beneficial to the brands too and and that's partly driven by market factors 
Rose, but also about, I think, people just starting to think about this space more because it's it's the area of the music business that's really growing. Yeah. And budget-wise, uh, last question. Uh, have you seen, I, I've heard uh, somebody on the panel yesterday talking about the fact that they, they reckon the budget, the percentage of budget allowed for music is shrinking. Uh, do, do you find that's true? Or is the budget for music lower? Or? I've not seen evidence of the percentage of budget shrinking f for music. What I'm seeing is the volume of deals going up. Right. So, so I think the, the the budget you know allocated for music I haven't really seen change a great deal in the very small time frame that we've been running this business. But what I am seeing is the volume of media in the world is growing exponentially. So there are more YouTube videos, more advertising channels, more games, more mobile games, more all, more products being created which require music every day. And so as that stuff continues to grow, the opportunity exists for more and more sync and licensing to happen. And so irrespective of the, the value of each individual deal, the overall market is growing and therefore the opportunities are growing. And therefore as a musician, it's a great time to get involved and educate yourself about this space and what we're trying to do is is, is help both of those things happen awesome. well thanks so much thanks Andrea. And once again the website is synkio s-y-n-k dot perfect thanks